guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new vlog i'm really excited today because i am vlogging and i'm using my new camera so it's just really exciting to kind of use it and see how it goes and this is actually the first camera that i have seen starting youtube i haven't had one before so yeah it's a really exciting one for me i've decided to vlog today because i've been off work this entire week um i didn't do much i think the first two days i was kind of struggling just because i feel quite burnt out um so i took the time to kind of relax not do much i wasn't feeling very well either um but yeah today is friday and i think i'm going to vlog today tomorrow maybe sunday or maybe just today but yeah i won't rumble on for too much also i had a haircut yesterday i basically just chopped off the dead ends i told you guys when i was in sicily that my hair really needed a haircut so i did that yesterday and i'm quite pleased pleased with it it's about 12 41 now um i had a really good morning routine today so i went to a fitness class on wednesday and then i did a gym session that was really intense on monday and i've been aching so 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 much so this morning after doing my morning routine i did about an hour of stretching which was so so good and it's so nice to do some gentle movements when your muscles are aching so i absolutely love that i'll show you guys in a minute what stretching exercises I did because I followed this girl on YouTube her name is Pamela Reef and her workouts are incredible they always deliver results so if you're interested in some fitness exercises that you can do at home for free from YouTube then I'll recommend her so yeah this is where it's starting I'm just about to make breakfast now I'll take you guys downstairs with me and I'll show you what I'm making and I'll take you with me throughout the rest of the day so before I get started on lunch I wanted to show you guys is this it's like a pack of 16 superfood smoothies from costco and i had one of these this morning i had the energy one and i'll just go in closer so you can see so this is what they all have inside and you get a mix of those and what i love about it so the brand is packed is the fact that it already comes pre-packed and it's like a kit so you get the powder and you get the frozen fruit so it's really easy to just put it together and it's also quite healthy so yeah i just wanted to show you guys this quickly so i had one of these earlier for breakfast okay so i'm just gonna pop you on there while i make some lunch and i think in the previous clip i referred to breakfast instead of lunch but this is definitely lunch it's almost one o'clock now so basically what i'm making is a smashed avocado on sourdough bread with some bacon eggs feta cheese and tomatoes so yeah i'll just pop you on there while i make this don't you just love it when you get an avocado and it's literally the perfect ripeness i mean look at that this is probably the most perfect avocado i've ever had i'm really happy about that so I'm going to use these bacon medallions and I love these because they have no fat on them whatsoever. Tomatoes are these ones from Tesco. There are tomatoes on the vine. These eggs, this pack is actually empty because I've used all of them. Um, but these eggs are so delicious and I feel like they're a cheaper alternative to the Clarence Court, which I absolutely love. But yeah, these are really nice and we've been buying these a lot recently. And then the bread I'm going to use is this one, the white sourdough. So those are some of the ingredients. So while the food is cooking, I said I will show you guys this account, which I use all the time. So if you're interested in fitness videos on YouTube for free, she is really, really good. So this is her name, Pamela Reef, and she's got all sorts of workouts. So she's got dance workouts, as you can see that one, the boss beach one. Then she's got loads of different stretch ones. All of them are so, so, so good. And she's got so many. This one, I absolutely love the 10 minute inner thighs. All of them are honestly so, so good. So if you're looking for someone to follow in terms of fitness workouts on YouTube, then I would definitely recommend her channel. She is really good. And you actually do end up seeing results. Like they're really difficult, but you do end up seeing results, which is a really good thing. And this is actually one of the ones that I did earlier in order to stretch the 10 minute stressful day stretch, which was nice. So yeah, this is her YouTube channel and I would really recommend you guys check her out. So lunch is ready and this is what it looks like. Like I said, I made two eggs, some tomatoes, bacon, 
um, smashed avocado with feta cheese. I'm actually super hungry because I only had a smoothie for breakfast. So I'm really excited to dig in. Just finished having lunch and I came upstairs to top up my lip gloss, which by the way is this one from Kiko. And this is in the shade 20 and it's from their 3D Hydro Lip Gloss. I absolutely love this one. I mean, I've had this one in my makeup collection for about two years. So it is a really long time, but I've recently become obsessed with it again. I didn't used to wear lip gloss for a long time. And as you can imagine, because of COVID and masks, it was quite difficult to wear sticky stuff. So yeah, I recently fell in love with this one. It's actually finished now, almost finished. So I need to get a new one, but I absolutely love it. And I paired it with my favorite lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury, which is the Lip Cheat in Pillow Top this is such a classic so yeah i just topped that up and i wanted to show you guys this because i think it's so so amazing and it's super affordable i think it's around 8.99 um and it makes your lips so nice and glossy so yeah i'm upstairs now and the reason why i'm upstairs is because i wanted to show you guys some goodies that i got from neom organics um i thought it'd be really interesting to show you what i picked up so before me showing you the products, I just want to mention that I am a brand ambassador and I was kindly gifted these products by the brand. However, I'm under no obligation to talk about it on my YouTube channel or to show you guys what I picked up or anything like that. But it's a brand that I really love and I do love their products too. So I just thought it would be fun to share them with you guys. So this is what the bag looks like that it comes in. And I actually did buy the bag and this one was a pound. So it, if you do place an order, it doesn't come with a bag. Um, the first thing that I picked up is this Perfect Night Sleep Pillow Mist and the ingredients in these are English lavender, chamomile and patchouli and the smell is 100% lavender and I absolutely love products like this because I'm not sure if you can tell but I have problems with my nose so I can't breathe properly. Um, and I always sneeze all the time. So um, the fact that I have problems with my nose really disturbs my sleep. I've had so many instances where I don't sleep properly throughout the night or I have to wake up at five in the morning because I have to either blow my nose or I just can't breathe properly. So any sort of product that kind of helps you sleep and also I've been trying to, you know, get into a routine that makes me sleep better at night. So yeah, products like this I absolutely love. And yeah, this is their pillow mist and I tried it last night for the first time and it's actually so, so good. The smell is a 100% lavender so if you're not a fan of lavender I don't think you'd like this but it is really relaxing if you spray it on your pillow before going to sleep so that's the first actually let me take it out of the packaging so you can see exactly what it looks like this one comes in the 30 ml so it is quite a small product but I think it does like last quite a bit I mean I haven't had it before so I'm not sure but can I spray some now I'll The other thing that I picked up is one of their candles and this one is the Complete Bliss one. So this one is Moroccan Blush Rose. Moroccan blush rose lime and black pepper and the reason I was struggling so much to pick one because they have so many other ones they have a happiness one they have a luxury one they do a really good job at describing what the scents are like but um I just thought this one sounded really really good at complete bliss and the main reason why I picked it up as well is because of the rose in it and I do like rose scented candles and this one is I think in the travel size if I'm not wrong so this one's 75 grams and the purpose of this is meant to calm and relax you so this is what it looks like again the scent is super nice and relaxing i do like the smell of this one i'm really curious to smell the other ones as well and see what they smell like and actually my favorite thing out of everything that i picked up um is this so this is their calming hand balm Again, this is in the smaller size that they do. Um, and this one is lavender, jasmine, and Brazilian rosewood. And oh my gosh, the scent of this is so, so nice. Again, all of these, I used this yesterday for the first time because that's when I got the order. And the smell of this is just phenomenal. And I think what they... Um, tell you to do with this one is kind of put it on your hands and then bring your hands to your face smell your hands and oh, i absolutely love the the combination of these scents it's just phenomenal oh this is gonna be so good when i get stressed out at work it's so amazing for me to be able to work with this brand because it's all about wellness and 
you know, wellness is a really big part of my life. I try to implement so many different habits in my life, like meditation, you know, light stretching, yoga, mindfulness, journaling, self-reflection, listening to mantras and stuff like that, which, you know, kind of calm your mind and bring peace and quiet because I do tend to have a very hyperactive mind. So products like this that are meant to help you relax are always really useful for me. So yeah, that's everything that I got from Neom Organics. I actually have a 20% discount code with them if you shop for my link which of course I will leave in the description down below if you're interested um, and also they have an amazing sale at the moment if you want to check out their sale again like I said I'm under no obligation to talk about them but I just thought these products are really nice and I personally really enjoyed them so I thought it'd be nice to share along and if you guys need a discount then my discount is in the description below um, I can still smell the, the hand cream and it just smells so lush. Um, but yeah, that's what I got from them. I actually do have a few more things from ASOS that I picked up. I don't think I'm going to do a haul just because some of the items don't fit properly. But I want to show you guys one of the items which I actually wore in a previous YouTube video. It's a nice white broderie dress that I absolutely love from Topshop. And I thought it'd be really nice to show you guys what it looks like as well. So this is the dress that I wanted to show you guys from top shop is this beautiful white brodery dress which is super super feminine and i absolutely love it it's got these really puffy sleeves which are not too puffy i think they look really nice it is quite short but i think on my height that looks quite nice and yeah i just love it looks a lot more expensive than it actually was it was around 56 pounds I absolutely love this this is like so up my street the kind of outfit that i personally really love and yeah, I think I might show you guys the other items that I picked up from ASOS as well. Just let me know what you think. But yeah, this is a beautiful little number. I also love the detailing on it. It's gorgeous. So the next thing that I picked up from ASOS that I wanted to show you guys. And I mean, call me crazy, but I love a bargain. I know this is definitely not weather appropriate, but... It was an absolute bargain and I think if you're petite you probably know how difficult it is to find things like this that fit petite bodies because the trousers are not too long with a pair of trainers they are actually quite good um, so they are really good length um, so yeah it's basically this two-piece cord um, it's a very nice knitted material it would be perfect for like autumn winter and I think with a pair of trainers it would look really nice and then a jacket on top I absolutely love it so I think I'm going to keep it but I'm not 100% sure just yet because I feel like the neck it makes me look a bit like it just makes me feel like it doesn't really suit me it makes my face look chubbier so I don't know if that's the case I don't know if you think the same um let me know what you think should I keep this should I not I mean it was a bargain like I said it was around 28 pounds if I'm not wrong on sale from like maybe 50 so do you think it's really really affordably priced but I don't I just I don't want to keep something that I'm not going to wear um but I do like it and I think even if I was to just keep it for wearing around the house it would still be a really good buy so yeah this is what it looks like and this is the next item that I picked up from ASOS I'll show you guys two more things I basically picked up two more pairs of white jeans one of them is too big and one of them is too small but I'll show you them anyway um and yeah let me know what you think about this one so the first pair of white jeans that I want to show you guys is this one. I actually have had these in the past. These are from Topshop. However, the pair that I had was too small and I wanted to get a pair that was a tiny bit bigger, so a bit comfier. And I picked up the waist 26, leg 28. And they do fit me, but they do feel a tiny bit too snug. So I don't want to keep them just because of that reason alone. So I would probably need to go a size up. But the strange thing is that it goes from a waist 26 to a waist 28 so it almost keeps the size so I don't know maybe waist 28 would be a tiny bit too big for me but these are definitely good now a tiny bit on the small size but I just can't justify keeping them because I feel like they would end up being too small in the future I don't want a pair that is too small for me because I already have one that is too small so that was the whole point of getting these and yeah these are from Topshop like I said I'll leave them linked down below because I do really like them and also these ones I think these are the Joni ones but they have um hooks where you can put a belt and the previous ones that I had didn't have these bits so you couldn't wear a belt 
filled with those but I think this is a new addition to this new pair that Topshop came out with and as you can see the length is actually quite good if anything they're a tiny bit too short so yeah do keep that in mind I'm five foot two so this is the first pair that I wanted to show you guys okay and these are the second pair of white jeans that I got so I got these from ASOS but they're actually from Stradivarius and I believe these are mom fit I picked these up in a size 8 and what I love about them is that they're really really stretchy but I'm not sure if size 8 is either a size too big for me or if I don't know if they just don't look right. This is the second time that I'm trying them and I think I'd like them more now than I did the first time around. I'm not sure why, but I just, I don't think they're that flattering on me to be honest. Um, maybe it's just the cut, the mom jeans cut that it doesn't look that flattering because my legs are quite short. Um, I'm not sure. And also they're gaping really badly at the back. I don't know if you can tell. Um, so yeah, this is a size 8 and these are from Stradivarius. I'll leave this link down below as well. Um, let me know what you think. Do these look good? I just feel like, I don't know. They're super comfy, but I'll be curious to try what size 6 looks like as well. But sometimes I just feel like ordering online is such a hassle because I don't know if I have the energy to actually send this back or buy a size 6 and then keep this as well and then compare between the 6 and the 8 but I would want to see what the 6 looks like because I have a feeling that it might be a better fit than these. These are super comfy but I'm not sure if they're comfy because they're a size too big but the material is also super stretchy and they're really really affordable actually. So I do like these but I'm not sure if I like them enough to keep them. So yeah this is the second pair that I picked up and that's pretty much everything that I picked up from ASOS. I think I'm gonna get changed now and probably I will change into my workout gear because I think we're probably going to go to the gym around four o'clock so i've changed in my workout gear i'll link down below where my clothes are from i'm just wearing this black yoga kind of leggings and this top so the plan is basically to go to the gym then pop into tesco's because we're going on a three or four hour hike tomorrow and we want to grab some snacks to take with us um then we're also going to the recycling center so i don't think i'm gonna take you guys along with us just because there's nothing fun in that and also we might pop into sports direct just because i want to have a look at some hiking shoes or walking boots or something like that for tomorrow but i might just wear my regular trainers i'm not sure yet so that is the plan for the next couple of hours and i'll probably check in with you guys when i get back home hi guys i'm back from the gym i actually had a super casual gym session just because like i mentioned previously i am aching a lot so and also did some stretching this morning so i didn't want to overdo it but i still wanted to go and yeah we didn't end up going to tesco just because we already have snacks at home i think tomorrow we're actually going to end up having lunch in one of the pubs or cafes that they have on the walk so we're not going to get lunch with us we're just going to grab some snacks which we already have at home and we also went to sports direct and i was looking for some hiking boots or shoes walking shoes um however the pairs that i tried weren't that comfy so i decided that i'm just going to use my regular trainers which i might actually end up regretting but we'll see i've never done a hike for that long before so that will be interesting but the trainers that i'm going to wear are quite comfy so hopefully um though my feet will be okay after that i literally just came upstairs to get one of these and put some sanitizer on it that's literally the first thing i always do when i get back in from the gym just because you know i've touched all the equipment and then i've use my phone as well so i just want to sanitize my phone so i'm just gonna go downstairs and do that now quickly i don't think this is a flattering angle at all but we'll make do so i'm not sure what we're gonna make for dinner i think we have some leftover chicken from the other day that i need to use up please excuse the noise my boyfriend is washing the dishes but we've decided to make a stir fry and we're going to be using this passage to asia satay chicken sauce stir fry sauce and we always well not always but a lot of the times when we make a stir fry we use these noodles which we actually like so i'm going to use these two and the chicken um and maybe some veggies so i didn't end up using the satay sauce just because i realized we still had half of this in the fridge so this is the black bean and red pepper sauce and we actually had this yesterday so i can confirm this is super yummy and this is what the stir fry is looking like so far. I think I will end the vlog here just because 
we're going to, I'm going to finish making dinner then we're going to have dinner while watching an episode of the Big Bang Theory and then I'm going to do some editing that'll probably take a while um I'm going to take my makeup off and then get ready for bed so I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow morning and I'll take you along with us because we're going to go hiking to Box Hill Park I'm not sure if it's a park I think it's just called Box Hill but yeah that's the plan for tomorrow so I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow morning guys today is a new day today is Saturday and we are getting ready to go to Box Hill um, for the hike it's I think I think they say it's around four hours um, we're about an hour and 20 minutes drive away from there so we're just on our way now I haven't really been on a long hike before in the UK so it'll be really fun and exciting um, so yeah that's what the plan is and we're just on our way there now So we are just going to start the hike now. Oh, that's really cute. I'll show you guys. It looks yeah. like a place where you can have some food. Um, it was really, really, really windy at the viewpoint. So now we're going to start our hike. It looks really lovely here, actually. So let me just turn the camera around so you guys can see what it looks like. So they've got, oh, this is where people had ice cream from. Should we get an ice cream? This is what this area looks like. So you can probably have something to eat and drink here, which is cute. And it shows here what way you can go. So the viewpoint was there where we went. Stepping stones walk, hilltop stroll, box hill for natural play trail and box hill hike. Oh look, that's where it is, it's that way. guys um we're about maybe 40 minutes in and if anyone's thinking of doing this <laughs> it's actually quite difficult <laughs> um look at all these steps <laughs> my boyfriend is pushing me along thanks babe um and if you're aching from a previous gym workout then definitely don't do this wow okay we got this so i just wanted to check in guys we had to go up those steps that i recorded earlier and oh my gosh it was so hard i don't know if i'm struggling so much because of my fitness routine this week or i'm just very unfit i thought i was all right but apparently not so if you're thinking of doing this then think about it properly because it is quite hard and we're not even like one quarter of the way there but I think we will probably stop halfway to have something to eat and a drink it's quite cute but hard very hard we even saw some horses some of the parts are a lot easier than others but some are really really difficult and steep so for instance this is one of the parts that's quite easy and it's quite oh and now we're going uphill again i can feel it <laughs> can you yeah yeah so many cute cottages here so we're now walking here it looks like we'll be here for a little bit because we have to walk straight all the way down um, but it's quite nice because it's really flat which is a very stark comparison with some of the previous areas that we did. Like so far, I only filmed the pretty parts of the walk, but just to give you guys an idea, this is what this part looks like. So this one, as you can see, is super narrow. And there are some fields over there on the right. And we are already at step seven out of the hike. So I don't think we have that long left because there is only 10. Um, and I think so far it's probably taken us around two hours and a half maybe um, and they usually say that you can do it I think in three or four hours so yeah this is getting more narrow and narrow as we're going up so now we are also going up actually and where we were just now before coming here 
was very steep, very, very steep. Hi guys, checking in. Um, so we are currently lost. Um, this is what behind looks like. So we've been walking for about 20 minutes. We're looking for this gate that we just couldn't find. So we realized that I think we went past it. So we're going back now for about 20 minutes. <laughs> so this is fun. Um, overall, I think it's really, it's really difficult, but at the same time, it's really good because it's challenging and it's a really interesting experience. We haven't done this before. I personally haven't done this before. So yes, yeah, it's, it's interesting. I'll turn the camera around so you guys can see what the surroundings look like. But yeah, keep in mind that we're currently lost right now. So you're not meant to be here. So this is what the surroundings look like. This is what the back looks like. They have some really nice cottages here and houses. I mean, not too many. I think it's just one or two. But these are private properties. So we've just stopped for a little break and to enjoy the scenery because this is very uphill so it's quite difficult but it looks beautiful. Now we are down this road and there's a few houses on the left hand side and it looks so pretty cottages so we just made it at this point where you can see this beautiful view and i just wanted to show you guys quickly what it looks like stunning and then there's a little bin bench bench here where you can sit This is another one of the viewpoints. Again, this also looks beautiful. So we've made it. The view top is like up there. How long did it take us, babe? We started at 11. And it's like free now. So about four hours, maybe four hours in a bit. We're basically back in the car again. Um, so we stopped at a local pub to have some um, food. Um, it was all right, it wasn't amazing. It's called the Stepping Stones, uh, but I didn't vlog. I am absolutely shattered. Um, I've never done this many steps ever in my life. And it wasn't as if you're walking straight on like leveled, pavement or floor or whatever it was very up and down and yeah it was just very difficult um it was really good challenging but really good but yeah i'm absolutely shattered so i just wanted to take out the camera a little bit and just end the vlog here um tomorrow i'm going to the spa with one of my close friends but i don't think i will vlog the day i mean i haven't decided 100 percent yet but i'll just say bye for now and this might be the end of the vlog um so if it is thank you guys so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed watching and spending some time with me and i'll see you guys in my next video bye for now